Hey, this is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, it was more like a nightmare as the stock market had a terrible week. All three major indices ended the week with losses, breaking a two-week winning streak. The S&P 500 led to decline down 3.4%. Now, stocks turned lower after producer price data came in hotter than expected, disappointing investors who had hoped for signs of easing inflation before the all-important Federal Reserve's meeting next week. The producer price index rose 7.4% year-over-year in November, above the expected 7.2%, but below October's 8.1% gain. A slower increase in companies' costs means firms will increase prices at a slower rate, keeping overall inflation on the decline. Now, the market's negative reaction indicates investors want to see inflation falling at a faster pace and fear the PPI result could indicate a higher-than-expected gain for the all-important consumer price index. Economists expect next week's CPI result to show a 7.3% gain, which would be down from the prior result of 77 However, the index may follow the PPI's lead with a reading beating forecast. Now, if inflation declines too slowly, the Federal Reserve may raise the Fed funds rate more than the 50 basis points the market is now expecting. Hey, don't despair. There's some good news and even a reason for optimism. The two-year Treasury yield, a barometer for expectations about the Federal Reserve's funds rate, has been declining now for two months and only inched up slightly on Friday. The bond markets, and hopefully our Fed, are aware that the full effect of higher interest rates often have a delayed impact on the economy. That means inflation could start decelerating sooner and more quickly. Word economist Jeremy Siegel said recently in an interview that inflation is basically over and the Fed's rate hike next week should be their last. And Siegel reminded viewers that the Fed ultimately follows the data. And any negative turn in economic data next year could spur sooner than expected interest rate cuts as the Fed will change its tone. Remember a year ago in September, Jay Powell said no increases in Fed funds will be necessary for all of 2022. That was just September of last year. So now when they've increased it how many times? We're now to believe that they know what's going to happen in 2023? No, they're just going to follow the data, Siegel said. Next week's Fed meeting coincides with the release of the November CPI report. And if that shows an extension of the decline we saw just this past October, it could lead to a more dovish Fed. So let's hope for a low number. And let's hope Dr. Siegel has it right. And the Fed just follows the data. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation of your portfolio, all you need to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844 pl A-N-N-Y-C. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.